straight into today's song because I cannot wait to share this with you. It is a live performance from the SNL program that I was catching up at SNL on YouTube recently. Tripped across this particular performance. It left me breathless. It made me look at this performer in a totally different way. And as a mature person, I'm going to say she's absolutely vocally phenomenal. That whispery tone, the deliverance of what she's about to perform for you, the song called What Was I Made For, will touch you. It really will. I just sat back and thought, Billy, I am now your biggest Irish fan, although I know there's other bigger, bigger Irish fans, but as regards to, I have to step back and look at you after this performance, which a lot of people will say, I, I understand CC where you're coming from. Like Miley Cyrus, it takes a certain song for me to say, that's the song that made, in my eyes, her grow up to be this extraordinary young woman. I have just done a video on Lana Del Rey, a theme track called Young and Beautiful for The Great Gatsby. I will attach it to this because the symmetry, both in the deliverance, the almost dream pop-like voice that touches you when she performs and sings. Her vocals are astounding here. It's in a whispered tone, but it encouraged you to be drawn in and listen, just like I did. I had the headphones on and I just went, what have I just listened to? And I think of this performer now in a totally different light. It does take just one song for you to think that of a performer and think, wow, I, th I never thought she would transition. How can I put this without offending any of her fans? She's got so many incredible songs out there, and I've listened to a lot of them, but suddenly this one touches my heartstrings. Suddenly this one is the one that makes me wake up and say, from pop icon to whatever she wants to be. It's the same way Lady Gaga made her name through pop music, but then crossed over to do theatrical music, jazz music, all kinds of music. It's that wake-up call that you go, Lady Gaga is more than what she pretends to be. There's no pretense in Billy, but I always assumed, maybe because of my age, she was a pop icon. But this has changed it for me. She is now that incredibly mature young lady with the wow factor. She's got everything. She always did. But I always said in a, in a pop category, but now I just feel she could do anything. It changed me. Did for Lady Gaga with one particular song. It's done it with Billy, and it'll do it again and again and repeat itself for many more artists. And as I said, this makes no sense, and I will get straight into this particular song, but I want to give you what the meaning is about and a bit of background about it. With what I was made for, Phineas, who is the co-producer of the song, once again returns with a production that contrasts with the Barbie movie's upbeat soundtrack. Because this also marks the seventh single for the movie soundtrack, in which Billy announced the track's release on her Instagram, proclaiming that she was one of the mystery artists at the time. Now, I am going back in my notes to bring you up to date with this song. The piece take, takes an in-depth inspiration from Billy's struggles of continuing her purpose in life as she opened up about her struggles to find her passion for writing and creating music. The song's meaning can also interpret, interpret Barbie's own spiritual journey to discover herself in the real world as she experiences it throughout the movie. Now, as she said, and this is a quote from Billy herself, Phineas was like, should we try to write a Barbie song? And I literally was like, dog, no, what? We're gonna make a come on? I thought about it, no time to die. That was months of thinking and talking and coming up with different melodies and stuff. And was also one of my favorite processes of all time, but very different. And I was like, 
we re we can't recreate that so how are we going to do this and we truly just sat down started playing the piano and those foot and those first couple of lyrics i used to float now i just fall down just came right out said billy now she did conclude i did find it hard to write about my exact feelings in my life what it, what it was made for would never have been written even though it is every single lyric is exactly how i feel it's about my life i was absolutely i was writing about myself i was thinking about myself from a third person's point of view and i was thinking about myself objectively which also made me feel really connected to her brackets herself so that is the background the meaning of the song for everybody explores that confusion the self-doubt the purpose of her life her songwriting where is she going the lyrics suggest and i can see them a loss of direction and a sense of detachment from one's true identity but we will all get into that in a moment now that the whole euphoria has died down but has been highlighted again since she won for a soundtrack i'm going to bring up the thumbnail i've done just to be totally correct was by what was i made for by billy and phineas from barbie from the film barbie won the best original song motion picture award at the grammys you can't get better than that and you cannot get better than i feel in my own opinion this live performance let's listen and savor billy eilish Ladies and gentlemen, Billy Eilish.
Well, you can see with the screaming of the fans, I have to speed it up. We can just say, Billy, everybody, there wasn't a pin drop to be heard. Did you notice that? Even when I initially had heard this, I went, wow, not a pin drop. And that's the reason for it. She's a global superstar. She always was in many people's estimation. Don't get me wrong, this is a pop channel. And I treated her like, a pop queen in her own right but for me she's just globally sensational and that song has changed it for me in how I look at her I don't see her as this young pop I see her as this mature young and beautiful lady vocally lyrically that can touch millions and that's the song that did it for me now you have all got your favorites I'm entitled to mine Let's have a bit of love and respect. And I certainly do for Billy now in many, many ways. Okay, straight into the first verse. I just want to bring them up. I used to float, now I just fall down. I used to know, but I'm not sure now. What was I made for? What was I made for? It's a big question in life, isn't it, everybody? Well... Billy describes a change from feeling confident, I used to float, to feeling uncertain and lost, now I just fall down, she says. She questions her purpose and wonders what she was created for, expressing a sense of existential questioning and longing for meaning. But the meaning of life and the meaning of what our purpose is and the meaning of everyday living is something I feel personally we're not meant to know the answer to. If we knew the answers to everything, our lives would come to a standstill, I feel, emotionally. There'd be nothing forward to look to, forward to the next day. Or if there was an obstacle that you knew ahead of the, your, your time had to deal with, there wouldn't be any big surprises that shape you and mold you over time into that person you're destined to become. Karma is about experiencing life on a daily basis and bringing you if you work hard enough and if you believe in yourself enough the opportunities that life has for you that's what I believe but she questions her purpose and wonders there what she was created for like so many of us do verse 2 says taking a dive I was an ideal looking so alive turns out I'm not real just something you paid for. That really hit me when I heard that the first time. It's a powerful, powerful sentence. And lyrical, something lyrically, it's powerful as well to put into a song. Because then she follows it through, what was I made for? It's like a double whammy of almost like that black cloud is pushing her down so much. Because the lyric touches upon the idea of feeling like a product or an object that somebody has paid for. And rather than a genuine individual. In other words, I'm with Billy. I paid for this meal. She's going out with me. I'm with her. I own her type of attitude. And emotionally she's into me. And that's how it should be. That self-proclamation of gratification you're with somebody, that even though she's very successful and all of that, she, she saw my greatness. I, I kind of get that from the song. It's almost like I'm extracting something that mightn't be there, but I feel that Billy has been suppressed in many ways, and that's why emotionally she couldn't express to the person. 
who knows but it could imply also the lyrics of feeling objectified as i've said or not fully understood or appreciated for her true value oh my, billy she's famous wow i'm cool yeah instagram followers gone up people love me uh, that can happen as well and billy has to weigh her life i think when she's got such global success as this pop icon of being how can one say so so careful and that's where that doesn't feel normal to her i'd say i you know when you're battling that how can i bring normality in my life and keep the normality i've always loved instead of being objectified for being billy the singer the great songwriter how can i put that aside and just say look i'm billy a normal human being with the heartbeats and i want you to love me for me it's tough because people will put the fame over the person always they always will especially in today's society and i think she struggles with not wanting to be second best to the fame so the chorus continues this theme of uncertainty with billy expressing a desire to understand how to feel and a willingness to try new things maybe in feelings it suggests hope for personal growth in that sense and discovery of what she really wants what she's not willing to sacrifice herself for what she sees as the truth her eyes are telling her this person is objectifying her loving her fame but forgetting about her emotionally and physically and i think if that happens in your relationship get the hell away from that person and run towards the exit door everybody because it's not about second best coming along the next person will be for you if that person's not for you somebody else give somebody else a chance to be that person that you want and appreciate oneself it's obviously what billy wants and what she's talking about in the song and I, and that's my advice to you and it's a hope for that personal growth to have the courage to do that and even though billy might not fully comprehend her emotions at the moment she does know want to meet somebody want to avoid filled want to be loved don't want to be objectified want people to recognize i have a heartbeat and just treat me normally and there's that craving for it. I feel always there's that craving in this song for that. And then when you go to the last bit, it says, because I don't know how to feel, I but I want to try, I don't know how to feel, but someday. This is what the juxtaposition in life, the road that Billy's at, but someday I might. In other words, she's lost herself in even her own fame and her own adulation of fans. And she's there's a sense of loss here her fans give it back and that's fine but billy's human she's a you know she's a sexual person and people don't like using that expressions with people and i say to my friends you're a sexual human being you have a heartbeat and when you are wanting a void filled with a person you want the love and the passion with it that's sexual and but someday she says i might well, if it's not now, it's definitely going to happen, Billy. Because maybe you're on that no man's land in between growing up situation of I have everything I could ever wish for. Now I have to focus on the right person, on true love and what that means to me and who will represent that. Because Billy is openly bisexual. And I read in an interview recently, she said somebody at didn't realize she was and she said I thought the whole world knew not everybody knows everything about everybody and in this song that's my point we're getting to know that side of Billy that's vulnerable and really seeking normality because she's got to a point where she feels love will give her that with the right person I feel that the second verse reflects in that loss of enjoyment and how she's feeling sad again and expressing true emotions and the boyfriend situation and the frustration of it all 
But on the outro, we heard it's longing to regain that happiness, sense of acceptance of who she was, the normality bit that I'm talking about. And it's something she's forgotten herself. She's forgotten those skills with all that's happening around her. She's forgotten how to put it into a relationship. She's jumping maybe into one relationship, maybe another, uh, uh, whatever it might be emotionally. But she wants to get on a path that will just bring that side of things, that side of happiness to her. And that repetition of, as she says, something I'm made for reinforces that quest in my point of view for a desire to find altogether now fulfillment in life. So overall, it's a search for identity, meaning, emotional understanding, struggle with self-discovery, and a longing for a deep connection with oneself as well as others to move forward. And Billy, I wish that for you. Take care. <laughs>